Okay then, today's content in Ultimate Team is a showdown. We've got Divock Origi versus Mason Mount, and in this video, we're obviously going to focus on the Belgium forward. If you guys want to see a review on Mount, make sure you leave a like, rate, and a comment below. I just want to gauge the interest because I don't think too many people will be interested in Mount. So if you are, make sure you let me know, and that way I will make a video. If there isn't too much interest, obviously I'll leave it. Anyway, today we focus on Origi, who is going to cost you a 85 rated squad and an 83 rated squad with an inform. So let's get Origi in the club. If you need some coins to improve your ultimate team, the cheapest place to get them is at IG Vault, and there is a link in the description. And if you use the code Kieran at checkout, you'll get yourself an even bigger discount off your order. Squad number one, like I say, is an 85 rated squad with a Belgian. I recently got Witzel in that uh, year in review objective, so may as well submit him. He is not worth too much. And then for the secondary squad, we are just going to submit a full Premier League side. Everything untradeable once more, so it can go. And now we have ourselves a pretty good looking Belgian forward coming in to the club. And I won't lie, I do expect Liverpool to win this game. So uh, I am presuming this card is going to end up being pretty damn good once, of course, it gets that boost. In the comments below, do you agree? Do you think Liverpool win or do you think Chelsea will get the win? So this is the team he's going to play in, 4-4-2, Premier League slash La Liga side. He's going to feature alongside the flashback Griezmann, who obviously dropped yesterday. Anyway, 4-star, 4-star on this guy, love to see that. High medium wear crates too, couple of traits, but nothing too crazy for us. But in regards to in-game stats, pretty good pace. In regards to his shooting, 90 ratings for finishing and composure, pretty damn nice. High shot power of 94, great to, 95, sorry, great to see. Passing is a bit interesting, obviously the short passing game is looking quite nice, long passing not so much, and the dribbling in some areas does look quite nice, but in others it looks good but not great, I think it's fair to say. But the main attraction to this card for me personally is the fact he's got such good pace, pretty solid shooting, and on top of that he's also got some decent physicals as well, so I'm hoping he's going to be a bit of a handful. For, defenders. for a chem style, I am straight away thinking, just by looking at the stats, I'm thinking, you know what, the dribbling definitely could do with a boost, so I was kind of thinking maybe engine, but then I thought, no, finisher, booster shooting as well, obviously the pace is already quite good, but with the uh, finished chem style, obviously we make his shooting pretty insane, and we bring, bring his dribbling up to a very good standard as well, so that's the chem style I'm going to go for, if you would go for anything different, do let me know in the comments. Well, eventually we'll get into a game, and this is a pretty interesting side. There is some really good players in this team, but there's also some pretty average ones, I think it's fair to say. So, yeah, didn't expect this, but let's go. Nice play there from Griezmann. Puts it through for the Belgian. Keepers off his line. Oh, going for the dink. Oh, I thought the defender was going to get there, but it had just enough on it to be the keeper, and we are level at 1-1. Nice. Oh, I tried to take on the man. I just, we, I mean, we megged him, but I'm just gonna get through. I should have tried a ball roll instead. Griezmann to the feet of Origi. Gonna link up. Good bit of link up. De Bruyne into the Belgian, but sadly took a deflection. Nice, Mane inside strike. Oh, just didn't wrap his foot fully around that one. He's onside here. Yeah. The answer is yes. Gets it across the box, and there we go. We are in front for the first time in this game. Belgian to Belgian, and we lead 3 2. Just before the break. Just before the break. Oh, we almost got a fourth hitting the upright. All right, then. Not a bad first 45. We were 1 0 down, then we were 2 1 down, but at the break, we lead 3 2. Take a ball from Mane. Into Origi. Oh, wow. I've got to give credit to Rodrigo there for getting to that. I think the Belgian might get the assist, but I'm unsure. Yeah, Rodrigo got the goal. I was worried it might get credited as an own goal, but job done. Great attack. Nice. Good ball. Sweaty. Oh, and I've bottled. I should have chipped. My bad. Doesn't matter though, because following that chance, he has actually decided to quit. So, how are we feeling about um, the main player after game one? Divock Origi, how are we feeling? First impressions? Um, he seems alright. He doesn't seem amazing. Um, he does feel like he's one of the players who do feel a little bit a little bit heavy on the ball. He's not a terrible dribbler, even with the boost that he's got with the chem style. But, um, yeah, doesn't feel all that fluid, especially compared to Griezmann, who obviously is his striker partner. Game number two, and we are up against Messi, Neymar, and Ben Yedda. The most surprising thing about this team is the fact that it's not flashback um, Neymar. Also, the teams tonight are really, really odd. 
What's happened? Oh, what a goal. How has Griezmann scored that? Chance. Oh, nice header initially. Forces a good save out the keeper, but bounce doesn't come to us. We've got a chance to break. For the Belgians, going to get down this wing. Does well to hold off Marquinhos. Ball to the back stick isn't a bad one. And we do force a corner. Nice. Oh, even nicer finish. Great strike on the weaker foot there. Right into the corner. Out the reach of the keeper. 2-0. De Bruyne. Into his fellow Belgian teammate who fires home to make it free. And just like that, we get another rage quit. Game three then, and this time it looks to be a bit more of a test because we're up against Ginola. There is that flashback, Neymar, and, Neymar, 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 and uh, of course he does have Kim Pembe in the back line as well. Did I just like, confuse Neymar with finding Neymar? I don't know what happened there. Man, eh? here we go. Here's a nice bit of link-up player. Now he's through some space, and I can see, ah. Oh, I don't know why, I just couldn't get the release there. I did press cross because I saw Rodrigo free, but just wasn't to be. Chance. Keepers off his line. This time we're not going to make a mistake. Left-footed chip over the keeper. Love to see that. 1-0. Riesman into space. Oh, I did well to get the shot away, but I should have gone for the chip there. And I don't know why I didn't, because I've been chip happy in this game. Okay, don't know what happened there. The game just like disconnected, so I guess we take that as a win. Alright then, game's done with the 87 rated showdown Divock Origi. What did I make of this card? Um, I felt for the most part he's a good striker option for Premier League teams, but do I feel like he's a brilliant must-have? No, unfortunately I do not. I just didn't like um, his like responsiveness, and also, as I say, like on the ball he just didn't feel all that special. And he does obviously have a pretty big body type, I believe it's high in average. So, yeah, you definitely can feel that in game, or at least I did anyway. So, if or when he gets boosted, I would really like to see a big boost in that dribbling department, because that, that I feel, would really help him out a lot. Anyway, aside from that, what is there to like about this card? Obviously, the 4-star, 4-star is great to see. I thought his shooting in general was actually, you know, pretty nice, especially in regards to his shot power. Good pace about him, and I did like those physicals as well. Definitely does make him a bit of a handful for would-be defenders. Also, Aerily, you know, he's got a good bit of a presence about him as well, so definitely is a player that you can cross in to the box for. I just felt his dribbling let him down a little bit. I know his dribbling stats are actually quite nice, but as I said, just felt a bit, you know, heavy in game. And this does happen with some of the taller forwards and those with the bigger body types in Ultimate Team. It's something that we've had for a couple of years now, and we probably knew that was coming just by looking at the card at the start. In regards to his passing, I actually thought he was alright in that area, especially in the short passing department, linked up well with some players around him, and actually racked up a few assists which is obviously really pleasing to see through balls though and long past in general as expected isn't all that great and then the next thing i want to discuss is the positioning because this was just something that i found to be so hit and miss with this card he was either in the perfect position or he was non-existent and that honestly was just a little bit frustrating and definitely did you know affect uh, my thoughts on this card but um yeah as i say if you need someone to score you some goals this card could definitely do that but uh, i do believe there are just more responsive more meta premier league attacking options available in the game but of course if you're a liverpool fan I'd get, get this SBC done. If I was, you know, a Liverpool fan, I'd 100% be getting this SBC done just to, you know, have it. It's just that I support Arsenal and we really don't get too many SBC items. Um, anyway, in regards to his upgrade, obviously Liverpool versus Chelsea. I personally would favour Liverpool just, but I wouldn't be surprised, obviously, if Chelsea won. But I, I feel like, you know, Liverpool are going to go for it. So I think this card will get the boost. And when it does, like I've said, I really do hope it gets a good dribbling boost. Because to be fair, like if they didn't boost the shooting, I wouldn't mind too much. As long as that dribbling gets a very, very nice upgrade. Anyway, let's now do some comparisons. Bearing in mind, this guy is currently coming in at around, let's say, 135k, shall we? Um, obviously, there's a lot of uh, upgrade packs available right now as well. And obviously, there's the icon swap times 25 packs too. So you probably can complete this guy for much less than these prices suggest. So there is that to be taken into consideration. In regards to Premier League strikers, who am I using this guy over? Um, well, I'll tell you who I'm not using him over. I'm not using him over this Martial. I'm not actually using him 
over this Daka because I really, really like that Daka item. What do you use him over this Calvert Lewin? Ah, they're pretty close to be fair. They're, they're actually very, very close in game. I think I would prefer this item a little bit more, but only marginally. And I'm saying marginally. And one of the reasons for that is obviously the fact that this card uh, could get boosted. Would I use him over Lukaku? I absolutely would. Would I use him over this Jamie Vardy card? Um. Ooh, it all depends on your play style. To be honest, Vardy is just such a player that you can just keep pinging through through balls to, and his positioning was excellent. So I, I personally would probably choose Vardy over this card just because of my play style. But to be honest, when I'm looking round and you consider the price, like 130k really isn't a bad price for him. But would I pick him to star in my Premier League team right now? No, I just think there are better Premier League options available. But as I say, if you're a Liverpool fan, definitely get the SBC done. And uh, hopefully, when or if he goes to 89 rated, he becomes a bit of a beast. Anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on the 87 rated showdown card. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, drop a like rating on it. Any questions, pop them down below. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in.